811 on this Tuesday, and it's the time of the year where families gather. And for Diamondbacks president Derek Hall, this holiday season will be even more special. Uh, Derek and his wife Amy are both cancer survivors, and they're telling their story of hope to our Mark McLoon. Derek and Amy Hall have a lot to celebrate this holiday season. Breaking pitch. D-backs ignited the Valley with a playoff run in 2017, but the Hall's biggest victory came off the field. I feel great, which is, you know, I mean, I'm so grateful, but I am done with my treatment and I have had two clean scans, so I guess I can say that I'm cancer free. Less than two years ago, Amy was diagnosed with an aggressive form of triple negative breast cancer. She has always been the healthiest in the in the household, the <laughs> strongest in the household. Yeah. And to see her come home at night and be exhausted by seven o'clock at night and be asleep on the couch, it was still her, but it didn't look like her. It was a hard journey, but one the halls knew very well. Derek was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2011 and defeated it. My journey was a lot simpler and easier than hers. Seeing what she's gone through for over the last year and a half, remarkable. And I've always said to her, you never complain. And her reply to me was always, it's not an option. Amy endured surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. And slowly, her energy came back. One of her uh, most treasured moments was taking our oldest son to school over into California into college and helping him move in. She wasn't able to do that with our middle kid. So I had to go back east with him. And, and I'm not the greatest, you know, Mr. Dad or Mr. Mom. So here I am making beds and hanging towels. And it wasn't the same without her there. And she really missed that. So here we are now fast forward to this year, again, the recovery year. And it's Parents Weekend. And she couldn't wait to go back for Parents Weekend. And she got to relive what she missed the first time. The next step for Amy sharing her story. There were so many times when complete strangers would reach out to me. They would send me a card. They would stop me in, at the grocery store. Just, you know, saw someone that was fighting cancer and, and said, you know, um, I know it's, I get, I'm super emotional talking about it, but tap me on the shoulder and say, you know, keep fighting. And it's, and so I know that now that I've been through it, it's, it's um, the smallest thing that can really um, mentally and physically just push you through those tough tough moment. So I, I mean, I, so many people have helped me and I want to definitely help other people. And by telling their story, the Halls hope to keep fighting cancer for years to come. So there's someone would say, we're praying for you. And I always thought, eh, that's a nice thing to say in passing. It is so powerful, it's so powerful when you're going through it. And Amy told me over and over, Mark, I feel the prayers. I'm Mark McLoon for Arizona's Family. Oh, they give I, me chills. I know. That's such a great family. I spent some time with Amy mm -hmm, at their house uh, when I profiled their house uh, before she got the cancer, mm -hmm. and she talked about what she went through with, with Derry. With, with, they're just such a great family. A wonderful. So, it's great to hear this update. Yeah, it so, really is. So happy. Boy, talk about a family that's going to enjoy Christmas. I know. You're so yeah. right.